Aloha and welcome to Knitted Paradise, where the needles are clicking and the yarn is squishy. My name is Lucia and you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Pearl of the Pacific. Today is Sunday, May 15th and this is episode 120. Hello everyone and welcome to my knitting podcast. Let's just jump right in, shall we? Below the concho, we still have the April and May green and yellow knit-along going on, as well as the night at the theater shawl knit-along going on, and you can find more information about those in the Ravelry group, which is Knitted Paradise Podcast. Um, the other news that I have for you today is that uh, I'm going to be hosting a, a meetup, as it were, here, local viewer kind of meetup, on June 11th. It's a Saturday. And yeah, I don't have any details really except for that it's going to be that day. Probably gather for lunch um, somewhere and then visit a yarn shop afterward. So it'll be kind of midday, early afternoon kind of thing. I thought it'd be fun to meet you guys who are local or who want to, you know, travel. And it'll just be a really casual lunch afternoon kind of thing but I wanted to put that out there because last time I had given it like a week and it was really last minute and then fire in our kitchen happened and then it didn't happen so this one I thought I'll plan way ahead and we don't have anything else going on that weekend so it looks like things are clear and should be good to go so I've updated the meetup thread in the Ravelry group um but yeah, that's where more information will be. If that, or you can contact me directly and let me know that you will be coming so that I know how many to expect. That would be kind of nice just to figure out kind of a lunch venue or whatnot. So let me know. I'm really excited about that. I'm sorry it didn't happen last time, and I know I've been talking about it forever, but I was like, I looked at my calendar and planned ahead, and we should be good to go. Um, the other thing is that, um, as I guess we're halfway through May now, there, the June and July knit-along will actually be a swap knit-along. More details to follow. Uh, the, the idea that I came up with is that you will choose a friend, either someone you already know or someone from the Ravelry thread that I have yet to create, and you will both knit socks, but you will send, um, you'll pick some yarn and send part of your yarn, like enough for heels, toes, and maybe cuffs, depending on what you uh, decide, to your partner. And they will send enough for heels, toes, and cuffs back to you. And then you will knit socks together that have the opposites of body of the sock and then heels, toes, and cuffs. And I just thought that would be really fun. And I'm going to hopefully make this an annual swap knit along thing. And yeah, so hopefully that is exciting to people. More details to follow. I'm still trying to figure it out. So more details will come as I figure them out. All right, that's it for announcements. On the island, I have my night at the theater shawl, which is consequently also green, so it goes for both knit-alongs. And here it is. It has grown quite a bit. I think since you last saw it, I don't even remember. This is not a, this is just marking the middle stitch, because things happen around the middle stitch. It's not, I know you've seen it, like, down here. I don't remember where it was. Anyway, this is out of... Three Irish Girls Bamboo Cotton Fingering in the North Central Coast colorway. And this is going to be for my mother. So this is my Night at the Theater shawl pattern. If you are new and we're trying to figure out who the pattern is by, I wrote it. And it is a, I guess it's a half circle crescent shape shawl. It does kind of go up. But the increases happen like a, like a half pie shawl. Kind of. It's a variety of different things, but it works. And yeah, I'm on the edging now by the border. 
which this is a pretty long needle and it's all bunched up on here. So I've got a little bit more to do. I think I've got maybe like five rows left. And they are long, let me tell you. I don't even want to know how many stitches are on this needle. Like 800 and something, I think. It's insane. I was, I was knitting these, these really long rows. I was like, who wrote this thing? I was like, oh yeah, I wrote it. I can't even blame the long rows on someone else. <laughs> That's okay. If you don't like the super long rows with the ruffle on the edge, you can always just do garter stitch. I know other people have done that. That works too. But I kind of like the ruffle. I mean, it's why I designed it with a ruffle. So I'm knitting that. And we will be done probably this week, I'm guessing. Because it's pretty simple from here on out. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. This is, it's a bamboo cotton, which is very drapey. I'm knitting on a size three, which is what I called for in the pattern. And I love this yarn. This is going to my mom, as I said, who lives in Hawaii. And so she didn't want something that was wool because it just got too warm. So I picked this and I love it. So that will be going to her when it is done. I'm keeping that in my music bag from the Silver Shed USA because my mom is a music teacher. So I thought the how appropriate that I should keep those together. So it's got green polka dots on the inside. Kind of matches the green. It's not quite the same green, but it's close enough. So that is coming along. That goes for both of our knit alongs. Wow, I'm doing so well in my knit along participation. <laughs> and sometimes I'm really good and sometimes I'm not very good. The other thing that I worked on that is not finished is the socks for my husband out of Nomadic Yarns trusty sock in the That's Not How the Force Works colorway. And this is how they are turning out. And I did a different type of heel. I mean, it's the same heel that I normally do. But on the bottom of the foot, I did an eye of partridge pattern because he tends to wear holes in his socks right here. And so I thought if I did some reinforcing there, hopefully it will help. And I asked him if it bothered him if the stripes didn't match up on the front, and he said he didn't care. So that's why I just knit the heel where it was in the pattern or where it was, you know, in the length. And... Just started back in the round. This would drive me nuts, but he doesn't care. So I was like, well, they're for him. I don't really have to, I mean, I have to look at them, but not that much. So these are coming along. They're just plain stockinette, which is really weird for me, but I think that shows off the yarn best. And I love this yarn. This yarn is fantastic. So those will probably, or this sock may get done this week. Uh, I kind of take it as a backup project for when I need to look at a chart in the shawl that I'm knitting and can't because I'm in a meeting or whatever. This is kind of the backup take along project. So that will probably get done pretty soon. And that is in my totally unmatching homespun house bag. Actually, I had this shawl in here, which matched a lot better. And, but that didn't really have, the socks didn't really have a bag. I just had them out like this. Um, this is the gorgeously hand wound ball. And, um, but I was taking this shawl with me and so I just threw this in there and now that the shawl is done, I'll tell you about it in a second. These just are just in there along with the leftovers of the shawl. So. Let's move on to set sail, and I will talk about the shawl <laughs> I've been alluding to. This is out of L.E. Lacy Yarns, you can find on Etsy, and it is in the bright citrus colorway. And it is 462 yards of a fluffy, fluffy fingering. I didn't, I didn't have a base name, but it's, I think it's 100, it feels like 100% merino. So, and this is how much I had left over from it. Maybe could have done another couple rows, but that's okay. So this is my Nermillin 2, 
I practiced how to say that. Thank you for the person who commented on YouTube last time and like spelled it or sounded it out for me. That was really helpful because <laughs> I just kept looking at that word going, I have no idea. So it's Nermilintu by Heidi Allender and I'm really happy with it. I did, let me untie the bottom here so I can take it off. It turned out really long. So it's a asymmetrical shawl. So you start here in it for a while and garter and then you do the the lacy part and then some garter and then a lacy part and so you do the garter and then a lacy part and then you you're supposed to be done here but I had yarn left over so I decided to do another garter part and then I did one repeat of the lace on the edge that's how much I had left to do and yeah, there's no purling in it whatsoever. It's a free pattern on Ravelry, and I would highly recommend it. And it is very, very large. Let's see, that is my wingspan. And so it's that past my wingspan. And my wingspan is the same as my height, which is five feet and three inches. And a quarter. Half on good days. Anyway, so it turned out very large, which is great for wrapping around. And then what I did today was tie it and put the one end back there and one end in front and then pull the other part over that and then pull my hair out. So, ta-da! Oh, that actually looked pretty good. You love it when you just throw something on and it looks great. Sometimes I try to fiddle with it too much and then it just starts looking bad. So yeah, so I finished that Friday maybe and blocked it yesterday and then wore it today because it's freezing. Despite the sunny appearance, it's actually very sunny outside. If you stand in the sun and there's no wind, it's actually quite pleasant. But as soon as you're in the shade and or there, wind, there is wind, it's really cold. So that's kind of frustrating. I'm like, it's May. I looked at the weather report this morning. There was a frost warning. Feels like 35. I was like, it's May. It should be nice. I want to go to the beach and enjoy the sun. But it's cold. Whatever. I will enjoy the sun from inside where it's not so cold. So that is my Nermilintu. The other thing that I finished last week and forgot to bring with me was my frost flowers cowl. So this is the design that I worked on through the um, Aroha Knits to Initiate Design Challenge. And this is out of Leading Men Fiber Arts Callback in the Moonlight colorway. And this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with it. It's a little thinner. I tried it on this morning for the first time. And it's a little more narrow than I think I was originally thinking. So I might, when I write up the pattern, add a little bit more. Um, I can always just block this one wider. I didn't aggressively block it wider. I actually think I blocked it taller. Um, I kind of just like pulled it this way and then let it flat or lay it, laid it flat. But that is that. It's very simple. And I will write up that pattern eventually. Uh, I have a draft of it because we had to do that for the challenge. But I haven't actually written it up. So I'll do that in the near future. So that's it for set sail. Okay. From the mainland, I didn't get anything this week. So I think that's it for the knitting this week. I know I was super short. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. I always I knit a lot, but it's on few projects, so there's not a ton to show. Um, from my holiday, I want to give an update on how the 21 day fix challenge is coming along, and it's coming along really well. I've actually been getting up every morning to do my half an hour of exercise, and I've kind of been really enjoying it. It's nice to get up and be active in the morning. I'm a morning person, so I don't have a problem getting up. It's just I'm normally like a quiet reflective morning person so to get up and do exercise is a new thing for me but I've really been enjoying it and I can already tell that I'm getting stronger and things that were hard in the beginning of the week are a lot easier now and I'm looking forward to week two 
And yeah, it's been really fun, actually. And, and it's been helping the anxiety, which has been really good. And I had a, a minor anxiety attack yesterday over something really silly, which is, of course, what anxiety normally is caused by. But I was able to uh, pull myself out of it, and I'm feeling much better today. So that's really nice. So with that, I think I will say goodbye to you all. And I'm going to go eat lunch really late lunch but I'm really hungry but I had to drop my husband off at work and then go food shopping and so then I set the food to cook um and then came to talk to you all and now I'm going to go eat it because I'm really hungry <laughs> that's the one thing about exercising a lot is you're a lot more hungry which is good it's great um but now I'm having to make more meals which is fine with me more delicious food great Okay, I'm just going to ramble on forever because I'm hungry. So I will <laughs> say goodbye and I'll see you next week. Bye.